Hey, so I'm going to show you how to set up a camera to actually get to work. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and uh, create a folder called cinematics. So let's do that. So we're going to save all our work in there. So I'm going to open that. Now I'm going to drag a camera. So under cinematic tab over here, I'm going to grab a cine camera actor, drop it in. Oh, actually I got to drop it in here. My mistake. And I'm just going to lift this up. Uh, obviously now one thing that may be useful is having a couple panels set up here as you place your character and i'm going to do a top down version here so let's go here so you can so i'll just scroll over here where's my character she's there and there's the camera so this kind of is a little bit easier and if you want you can even have a, a layout like this and over here we're going to have a left or i think i prefer right let's go with right and i can lift it and now one of the things i want to do here is set up this camera so that this is kind of the camera view so we're going to click on here we're going to make sure that this is clicked allow cinematic control and we're going to go over here and turn cine camera actor so that's the actual camera they're controlling just as a note, you could add several cameras to scene if you're creating cutscenes and all that as you get a little more comfortable. But for now, we're keeping it simple. And as you can see, there is uh, your camera shot. To help with my composition, I'm actually going to use cinematic viewport. And now I have the rule of thirds. I'm going to enable it. And I'm also going to reclick the camera so that I can help. Uh, better set up my composition. Oops, I want to make sure I'm using the right thing here. So I'm going to move this up and I'm going to move them back. So I'm going to just scroll out. And I'm going to go with the top perspective here. Uh, it takes a little while to get used to this, but once you've done it, it's it's pretty easy. As you can see, I'm touch, I'm moving the whole scene, so you want to be careful with that. So make sure we have the. Let's click on this camera here. You know, and the maybe I'm gonna go just a traditional perspective, which is kind of like. Control Z that and fix it. So I want to definitely click on my camera. So let's just go get it right here. So if I'm having a hard time picking it, that's the other way around it, I guess. Just go and get it in the world outlier, place it. And we're going to start from here. So we're pretty happy with this. Let's pretend, uh, you know, you could fit annual with it, but uh, we're going to just let it be. Okay. So now what we're going to do is in, under a content we've uh, created, um, we're going to create our sequencer, which is the tool from in which you create your shots. A couple ways to do it, but uh, I'm going to just go this way, animation, level sequence, and we're going to click create, and we're going to call it master. So we're going to, there's a, Another way to get it and get a master, but I'm going to cover that in another video. This is kind of a way I found it was a little bit quicker. So what we're going to do is open this. And once we open it, the first thing we want to do is create a shot track, which uh, will allow us to create several shots if we want. Probably to keep things simple, we're not even going to do more than one shot. But uh, so here's the shot track. Okay, so I just created that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on plus. And don't click on master, but click on insert shot. Okay. Now this would work, but this is a, a way to add extra clips. I know that uh, for now we're not going to do that. And uh, Unreal remembers your folder where you want to save things to. So we're going to call it shot uh, 10 1. That's fine. Let's go with that. And um, so now we double click on that. And what it does is it kind of creates a breadcrumb. And now we're going to be doing our shots and, and everything set up in here. Okay. The first thing that uh, we want to do is to drag in our camera. 
So if you had more than one camera, you'd want to drag them in. So I'm going to drag this one in and it'll create your shot. So right now, without anything happening, you kind of see uh, what's happening. Okay. So the first thing I'd want to do is to bring in my animations. So right now, I only have one animation. It's going to be pretty simple. So I'm going to drag this thinking archer and drag her down here. Okay. Now you would think that it's done, uh, but this is a step that a lot of students have a hard time with. You actually have to go get the animation. So in our case, I think we were using what was called the thinking animation. So I'm just going to go get that one. And uh, in this video, I'm only going to go show one sequence and one animation just to make it simple. Uh, so what I want to do now is I'm going to go to the camera component. Uh, just before I do that, I want you to see that this green and this red are the in and out points. You can move these around. I'm going to leave them right now where they are. It's fine. So if you want to have a lar longer sequence, it's probably better to figure out the length of your sequence before you put your keyframes in. Now you can always fix it after, but it's a little uh, more finagling, which uh, let's make it simple for students. Okay, so here we go. We got uh, about 150 uh, frames, which is good enough for us. So uh, I'm going to put the camera at the beginning and I want, I place my shot. So you, you move your camera around until you see over here. This is really important that this one uh, be set up uh, as the uh, cine, cine camera actor, which is what you're actually going to be filming. And then what you want to do is click the S key uh, to create a, a keyframe. Okay, so that's uh, where it's going to start. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this all the way to the end. And now I'm going to take my camera and, you know, you can move around in here if you want and see it a little bit closer. So I'm going to move it all the way up and I'm going to place it where I would like it to go. And, you know, I could use this one to help me. So I've, I've got all these panels and I'm just going to move this one a little bit this way and uh, using the rule of thirds to help me with my composition. I'm pretty happy with that. Press S again. And now you can obviously click and delete these. Now you can play around with these. I prefer doing it manually. Uh, this auto keyframes. Uh, so I'm just going to go like this. And I'm pretty happy with that. Now one of the things I'm going to mention is you could do a sound track in here. But if you're going to be doing pure cinematics, what I do is I export it and do my sound inside a Premiere Pro or something else because uh, Unreal Engine doesn't allow export of sound yet. It's something they're working on, uh, but apparently it's something complicated. I don't know, but that's what I've heard or been told. So I'll click Save. So we want to say Selected, and we're pretty happy with what we have. So now what we're going to do is over here, this is your Render button. So we're going to click Render. We're going to video sequence 30 frames per second, which is what we had left it at. I had not mentioned that, but uh, you could change that uh, to whatever you prefer. And um, we're going to see where is this being outputted. Video captures under my project. And I'm going to click capture. And again, we're going to click save selected. And it's going to be exported. So then what you do is you basically go to your folder and check out your movie. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I will make another video that's a little more advanced on uh, how to do the camera animations and more camera shots and, and uh, maybe uh, further down the road, two, three cameras, uh, just so you can learn how to do all these different uh, techniques. Um, but I really encourage you to just start by creating a sequence, bringing in a couple animations, probably just one, and then start working on it. That's really the best place to start. If you have any more questions, please let me know.